Hi guys, I'm back. Uh, I'm here in Manila now, but this morning I woke up at 5.30 to drive all the way here to Alabang. So I live in Quezon City and when I have meetings in far south or far north, I always wake up very early to avoid traffic and just find a place to work than waste my time in traffic. It's one of the hacks I call to make the most out of my time and uh, what I want to talk about in this video are five rules on how to rebound from failure. So uh, this video is para sa mga taong kilala mo na nagfail sa negosyo or actually yung five tips na to regarding failure hindi lang kahit sa negosyo mag apply to kahit may failure ka sa trabaho mo, may pamalpakan na project sa school, uh, bumagsaka sa entrance exam, I can relate to that. I'll talk about it later. So, ano yung five uh, tips ko para maka-rebound ka from a failure? And, uh, yung sinasabi ko kaninang kasama sa failure, yung ano, yung hindi ka natanggap sa dream school mo, college entrance exam, I can definitely relate. My dream school nung college was to go to the University of the Philippines. Bukod sa, it's a really, really good school. It, it was so close to my house. It would have been a 5-minute, 10-minute drive. At the same time, the tuition fee sa UP so much cheaper than other schools. Kaya it would be a big help sa parents ko at that time. But I failed. I flunked my upcat and that was sad but life goes on, okay lang. It was a failure, it was devastating for me during that time but it's okay. Any setback that you have, any failure that you have, this five tips would, I hope would help you. Alright, tip number one. Uh, first, don't pretend that it never happened. Uh, Madami kasi ng tao is afraid to admit failure and uh, no worry, hindi ka nagisa. It's not uncommon. So madaming ganyang tao. I was like that before and uh, it's called denial, eh, de ba? Yung hindi mo matanggap na nagfail ka, kasi madaming expectations sa yon. Kahit ikaw may expectation kesa sarili mo, but ganon eh. Nagfail talaga tayo. It's part of life. It's part of success. Failure is part of success. So don't pretend na hindi ka nag-fail. Don't pretend na it never happened. Kasi when, you're, when you are quick to admit na you screwed up, you'll be also quicker to adapt and to rise up. So uh, wag kang mag-pretend na hindi yun nangyari. Fail fast. Okay? Fail fast and fail forward. Number two na tip ko, to rebound from failure is stop making excuses. Uh, madami sa ating nag-sugarcoat ng failures. nag excuse na parang kanyari nag-fail yung negosyo mo. Eh kasi yung ano katabi ko kasi tinapatan ako eh. Ginaya ako eh. So you're putting the blame on them. When dapat pag yun ang nangyari, you need to improve. It's not their fault na ginaya ka nila. Ginaya ka nila because you were doing something good. But if you failed because of that, then it's how you reacted that was wrong. It's not their fault. Kunyari, bumagsak ka sa school or sa project, hindi mo natapos on time. Again, you need to, yung sinabi ko number one, don't pretend it never happened. Tapos itong number two, you need to stop making excuses. Dati, I had a photo studio and I, uh, it was good, it became big, and then it failed, it closed down, and during that time, I didn't my photo studio closed down, and uh, people were asking me, why did you close your photo studio when I was telling them? Because, uh, ano eh, um, dami kong ginagawang ibang negosyo, wala akong oras, or minsan, ang sinasabi ko, kasi, ano eh, Ah, uh, ang dami ng competition ngayon, ang dami ng photo studio or minsan, ang dami kong excuses. But the truth was, I had barely enough clients to sustain the business. 
Kasi kung kumikita naman ng maganda yan, you'll have time for that. Kagawa mo ng paraan. But the truth was, I barely had clients. And number two, to rebound from failure, my second tip is to stop making excuses. Uh, don't find an excuse. Don't make an excuse. Make an F- effort. Sorry. Make an effort. Because that's the only way that you will rebound from failure. Okay? Stop making excuses. Uh, number three, na tip ko to rebound from a failure is kailangan mo i-differentiate yung failed na goal sa failed na tao. Ano ibig ko sabihin by that? Uh, yung failure, kung nasaan ka ngayon, kesyo negosyo yan, or entrance exam sa school, or our project, or sa trabaho mo nag-fail ka, or you failed your parents, uh, I want to tell you, it was a failed goal. It's not a failed person. You need to remember that. A failed goal is hindi mo nagawa yung dapat mong magawa. Hindi mo nakuha yung dapat mong makuha. Hindi mo na-achieve yung gusto mong ma-achieve. That's a failed goal. But it doesn't make you a failed person. So, ang mahirap sa atin, uh, tayo as human beings, it's very, very common for us to blame ourselves for failures. And uh, I'm, not taking, I'm not taking it against you because it's tao ka. Normal na maramdaman mo yan when you fail. The moment you fail, automatically you blame yourself. Tao ka. But instead of setting up this mental pattern of failure na blaming yourself, what you should be doing actually is asking yourself, how do I improve? How do I become better next time? How do I make sure this doesn't happen again? How do I rise up? So, number three na tip ko, again, differentiate yung fail, failure from a failed person. Kasi you're not a failure, okay? The fact that you're listening to this, you're not a failure because you're finding ways on how to be better. Okay? Tip number four. So, second to the last. Uh, tip number four is, I want to tell you, to rebound from failure, you need to know that you are not alone. Na hindi lang ikaw yung nag-fail because so many people fail. Even the, the greatest people on earth, the most significant people on earth, failed at one point in their lives. I have so many failures. The best basketball player, Michael Jordan, missed parang, parang yung record ng mga missed shots niya sa 9,000. And then, parang he lost almost 300 games. Ito yung mga hindi na yung news eh. But that's part of his resume. But ano yung na yung news? Ano yung tinitignan ng tao? All the times he won, all the times he succeeded. Because failures are stepping stones to success. So, tandaan mo, hindi ka robot, we are all bound to fail at one point in our life. And it's okay. And it's okay. Because failure is part of your success. Uh, last tip, tip number five, you need to focus on the lesson. Uh, as an entrepreneur, we all make bad calls in business. And it's part of business, it's part of us being humans is it's human to err to, to make errors and okay lang yan normal yan you make bad calls you make wrong decisions okay lang yan tao ka but the failure comes but you need to focus on the lesson that's number five focus on the lesson not on the failure because hindi wala kang magigain if you focus on the failure you'll just feel sad you'll sulk in it, you'll feel depressed. Walang magudulot na maganda sa'yo. But if you focus on the lesson, then you'll be motivated, you'll strive, you'll work hard how to be better, you'll find ways to be a greater person. Because uh, there's no such thing as failures. There's only such thing as lessons. So always remember that. When you fail, it's a lesson. It's not a failure, it's a lesson. Okay? Sa, neg- sa negosyo, ang failed na negosyo, ang tawag namin dyan, tuition fee. Tuition fee, bakit? Kasi natuto ka. Kasi matututo ka. So, wag ka mag-alala. Kung nag-food cart ka ngayon, nalugi ka, wag ka mag-alala. Tuition fee yan. Because I'm sure you're not gonna make the same mistakes again. Because you learn from your mistakes. So, last tip ko, focus on the lesson. And siguro, magbigay ako ng bonus, no? Number six. 
uh, since uh, we're at it, number six, gusto ko idagdag na tip to rebound from a failure is always wear, <coughs> always wear your learning hat. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Never stop learning. Huwag kang tumigil maghanap ng paraan to gain more knowledge, to learn new things. Ayun yung the greatest question that people ask. Ano yung difference ng humans sa kahit anong hayop na pinakamatatalino? Ang difference lang ng humans is we can learn new things by the minute, by the hour, every day. There's something new that we can learn. Kung dedicated ka talaga, kahit college dropout ka at gusto mo maging pinakamagaling na chemist sa buong mundo, dedicate 10,000 hours and I'm sure you'll be there. One of the best chemists. chemists. If gusto mo maging pinakamagaling na mekaniko sa kotse, then dedicate years and years of study and you'll be the best mekaniko ng kotse. Because once you wear the learning hat, once you be open to learning, that's the time that everything will fall into place. Uh, have mentors. Find mentors. That's how you learn new things. Then, the fact that you're watching this, you're consuming this content that I'm putting out, means you're hungry to learn something new. Uh, the moment you stop learning is the very moment you start dying. Kasi yun na lang yung advantage natin sa ibang species, eh. yung ability to learn so fast, so many, unlimited amount of learning. Kumbaga, yun din eh. May mga question tayo nakukuha na, anong pinagkaiba ng mayaman at mahirap? We both live 24 hours a day. Yung mayaman na tao, kunin mo lahat ng, kunyari si Henry si, kunin mo lahat ng pera niya ngayon, ilagay mo siya sa kalye, tsaka yung taong nasa kalye na, wala ding pera, silang dalawa, iwan mo sa kalye. You know that Henry si will make back the money that he has now after some time because of his ability to learn new things, to find new ways to earn, to do things that most of us cannot do. And his ability to make money is because of his ability to learn new things. And hindi naman siya natutong gumawa ng sapatos just by sitting down at nahulog na lang sa utak niya. Eh. He learned it somewhere. And it, it it's the same reason for all of the people you see up there na successful. Uh, like, kunyari sa sports, si Manny Pacquiao. Hindi naman yan natuto mag-boxing na natutulog sa pagising niya. Superstar na siya sa boxing. He had to learn it. And uh, that's what I'm trying to tell you right now. My bonus tip, number six, to rebound from failure is wear a learning hat. Because once you have a learning hat, you can learn anything you want. You can learn anything under the sun. And your projection, your, your growth for success becomes unlimited. So yun lang guys, uh, I hope you learned something from this video, medyo mahaba na. Uh, I want you to take action. Uh, siguro not so nice if you tag someone who has failed. Maybe click share and then send us message dun sa tao na tingin yung kailangan makarinig na to. Alright? No such thing as failed people, okay? Only failed goals. So yung kaibigan mo na kailangan makarinig nito, it's not a failed person. He, he or she may have failed a goal, but it's okay. Tuition fee yan. Because failure is part of success. And you're gonna share this to him or to her because you want him or her to become successful. Alright? Yun lang guys. Bye-bye.